Howdy friends, it's Rob Litton here from drumsaword.com. Today I'm going to show you a song that's been requested quite a few times by people online, Facebook and YouTube channel. It's the song Metalingus by Alterbridge, drummed by Scott Phillips. So the first groove, the, the, the groove that got me interested in doing this song for you guys was the intro Tom groove. And I can see online that a lot of people do covers of this and also a few drum lessons as well. And so I wanted to make sure that people were getting it right. So I spent a lot of time um, going over the actual recording, obviously, but then also watching Scott play it live. Lucky there's quite a lot of good YouTube videos out there of Scott performing it live. And he's one of these drummers that comes up with a part and then repeats it. Thank goodness. So it makes my job a little bit easier. He's definitely come up with a definitive um, pattern here that he repeats um, every live performance and it's the same performance we hear on the recording. He adds little, uh, uh, I always forget the word, not blemish, uh, little licks on top, which are improvisational, but the basic skeleton rhythm is the same. So let me show you what that is. The first bar on the chart actually shows you, you could loop the first bar on the chart and this would be our basic rhythm. So without the bass drum underneath to start off with, and this will require four toms if you want to replicate this, this, this groove completely like Scott does. If you've only got two toms, then you've got to use a bit of imagination and perhaps you've got to, well, you're going to have to um, choose uh, which drums you sacrifice and move to your two toms. You've got to work that out for yourself. It is possible, of course, but it's not going to sound as melodic as having four toms. So I'm very lucky in this situation. If you haven't, if you've got two, then you're going to have to work on something and reduce the number of, of toms you're playing. But we've got this. It starts um, with uh, the right hand. Basically, it's going to be round here most of the time. And the left hand's going to be doing a little bit of this. But really, it's the right hand's down here most of the time. We get one E, and then the hands move to the lowest two toms, and a 
two. And actually I will put the bass drum in because it's kind of a linear pattern. The first bass drum at the beginning of, of, of the bar falls with the floor tom. We get one E, one E and a uh, two. But then to continue the pattern, well, I, what I mean by linear is it's a line of notes that, that don't fall with each other. The bass drum fills in the gaps that the hands aren't playing. So we get and a uh, two E, and then move back to the floor tom and play the snare drum at the same time for the and of two. That's our first backbeat snare drum. The backbeats in this groove, by the way, fall on the and of beat two and beat four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. That's the backbeat that comes out of the tom pattern. So one E and uh, two E and. That's our first little line of notes. Then afterwards, the, um, what is it, the and? And uh, we get a bass drum after that those two notes and uh then he plays three e and uh three e and uh and then back to the snare drum back beat four e and uh and then you just loop that round so if i loop it round slowly for you one e and uh two e and uh three e and uh four e and a uh, one e and a uh, two e and a uh, three e and a uh, four e and I messed up there. What I've done with this, when I've been practicing this, is um, I had to uh, put this to muscle memory. Um, there's no way uh, I could have read those notes as fast as the song is. So I had to come up with a shortcut. And the shortcut for me is learn it off by heart from muscle memory. Certainly how Scott did it. So you learn the basic rhythm. And as I speed it up, you're going to see this and become easier for me to play. At this slow tempo, and this is, by the way, how I started to learn it. I had to play it slow to start off with. But um, actually, when I start speeding up, because I've spent most of the time playing it at the tempo now, I find it easier. My, my arms take over. So you'll have to do the same, or you, I suggest you do the same, is it? you start slowly, obviously, you can't play it fast to start off. If you can't read that fast, no one can, I don't think, unless you're Vinnie Coliuta. Um, and then once you've got the movement, you start speeding up, and you'll find that you'll learn the movement. So let me play it around a few times for you. I might make a few mistakes here. That's our basic tom pattern. And if you really just want to make it a little bit easier for yourself, you could just play that during the tom sections. That's hard enough to get down to start off with. But then, of course, we've got these flourishes, these cool bits on top. So let's move on to the second bar where we get our first um, flourish. Flourish was the word I was looking for. Flourish. <laughs> 